guys, so a couple of you asked me to do a makeup tutorial video and this is totally out of my realm. I am by no means a makeup artist. I am definitely not a hair expert or like a fashion blogger, but you asked for it. So I will show you how I get ready. What you're about to see is just like a get ready with me style video. It's the first time that I've ever filmed one. So please forgive like my angles and stuff because I really have no idea what I'm doing. But everything you're gonna see is this makeup look, how I did my hair, and my outfit, and I'm going out with a couple girlfriends tonight. So I thought that this would be a really good time to film it for you. Also, all the products and everything that I use will be linked down below, so if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. But like I said, I'm not an expert. This is just what I do to get ready when I go out. This is a lot more makeup than I typically wear on like a normal day. But you know, it's fun and it's fun to get dressed up and get girly and all that stuff. I did it voiceover style so that I could like explain what I was doing because I do some weird stuff to get ready. I will just let this footage roll and if you like this style video, give it a thumbs up. Don't worry, my next video will be back to basics, back to what I know, food and health and stuff like that. But let me know what you guys think of this. It was kind of fun. I start with some moisturizer. This is a Wellida, Wellida Wild Rose Smoothing Day Cream. Sorry, can't pronounce that. Will be linked below. And then I prime my eyes with the Tarte 360 Clean Slate Creaseless. And I do this above on my lids and underneath. And then this is where it gets weird. I tape my eyeballs because I am a sloppy makeup doer, kind of like I'm a sloppy cook. And it kind of lets you be sloppy but have a clean line when you're done. So I'm using the Naked Basics palette. This is the light color that I start with called Naked 2. It's my favorite. As you can see, there's like nothing left in it. And then I move on to Faint and I concentrate that on the outer corners and I just go back and forth, back and forth, smooth everything out. And then I'm moving on to the Lorac Pro 2 palette and I put all over my lids the rosé color. And then as a highlight I use the beige which is like a light shimmery champagne color. And I do this before just so that it blends in really well. And there's Buzzy in the background just hanging out. Then I'm using the light brown. It's a matte shade to blend everybody out. I like a really blown out brown neutral eye look as you can tell and then this is the buff it's just a matte like yellow cream color and I put that on the inside of the eye just to brighten it up and this is my favorite color in the whole palette it's cocoa and it's a really dark but slightly shimmery brown and it just blends beautifully and I just put that right in the crease with a thinner round brush And then there's nothing on this big fluffy brush, no product, I'm just going back and forth. And then I use the matte black and put that right on the very outside corners of my eyes. And then I go in with beige again, which is the highlight that I used on, the, on my brow bone. And I put that in the center of the eyes because it really brightens it up and makes your eyes look really, really big. And then I blend out one more time. And then on to eyeliner. So my favorite eyeliner of all time, and I've been using it for years and years, is the Stila Smudge Pot in black. It is so black. It doesn't get that weird like separation when you use a brush that some of them get and it doesn't get patchy at all. So here is another reason that I use the tape. It just You can just paint right over it and you'll see when we peel it off that it gives you a perfectly clean line every single time. It's foolproof. I only use this method when I'm like going out and wearing a lot of makeup. I don't use it every day but it is awesome. I don't go all the way to the center of my eye with my eyeliner, just like three quarters. And now it's time to pull off the tape and ta-da, it's like magic. For my foundation, I use the Lancome Taunt 
Ideal Ultra 24 hour makeup. And what color do I have? 320 Bisque. It's a warm, so it's a little bit yellow. And my favorite brush of all time to apply it is with this Tarte Rounded Kabuki brush. It's super dense and super soft, and it just blends out the makeup beautifully. And this stuff is like super, super matte, so you want something that is going to spread it pretty thin because you don't want it to look cakey. So I go down my neck and all over the place, just like that. And at the end, I kind of pat. So this is my favorite concealer of all time, and it is the Clinique line smoothing concealer in number 02 light and I use this as a concealer and a highlight so I go all underneath my eyes on the corner of my mouth and then I put it in any place that I have redness and where I would typically highlight like with a powder and then I use my beauty blender and blend it out and beauty blenders are like the greatest thing ever they really smooth out your makeup and I have some lines under my eyes because I'm getting old and it really just helps not to get crease and it blends out your makeup just beautifully. I love it. And tip, make sure it's always a little bit damp. And then this is a Sonia Kashuk brush in number 121. And I use that in the center of my eyes to make sure that I get the concealer all up in there. This is my Tarte Smooth Operator Powder and I use that to set my concealer anywhere I put it on my face. You can see I need a new one of those. It's running pretty thin. Then it is time to bronze. So I use Mineral Fusion. It's actually the makeup, like powder makeup in deep. I love it because it's nice and matte and I just use an angled brush and you want to make sure that you balance your contour and your bronze and not just stick it right on your cheeks. You kind of put it on your forehead, underneath your chin and it makes it look really balanced. This is the Tarte Baked Amazonian Clay Blush in Blushing Bride. I love this blush. I use it every day. And then to highlight, I am using another Mineral Fusion product and it is called Radiance and it's just a quad of highlighters and you can use this as an eyeshadow too. It's a great product. My lip liner is also Mineral Fusion. It is in Grateful. Graceful, not Grateful. <laughs> and I line my whole lip and then I fill that in. I kind of use it as like a lipstick. It's a nude-ish brown, red, pink-ish, nude. I don't know, I love it. This is like my third one of it. I go through it like crazy. And then back to our Naked Basics palette, I am using that dark brown right on the corner of my eye with a flat brush and then going in with that Naked 2 light brown color and just smoothing it all out. So I do this instead of eyeliner on my bottom lid because I feel like it's not quite so harsh. Then I'm using that light shimmery shade in Venus as my highlight on my inner corner. Curl the eyelashes, pretty self-explanatory. And then I freaking love this product. It is also by Tarte. It's called Multiply Prime and it's an eyelash primer. And I feel like it makes your lashes super big and fluffy. My eyebrow pencil is by Zuzu in the color Flax. It's really hard to find a blonde pencil that's not too orange and this one is perfect. I love it. And then I set that with something called Brow version 22 and I will link this below because I can't read it. It's another language, but it's fantastic. It's from Sephora. And then I set everything with my Andalou Illuminating Toner. My bottom lashes, I put my Tarte mascara because it's fluffier and my eyes are really sensitive at the bottom so I need to use a very sensitive mascara. And on the top I use L'Oreal Telescopic. I love this brush. It's like plastic so it's not really your typical mascara brush and it lets you brush like kind of comb through your lashes so that you don't get any clumps.
And finally, I use my Buxom Gloss in Purple Haze. It looks super purple, but when you put it on, it's just a little bit pink. And that's my makeup. Moving on to hair, oh, don't mind my wallpaper. I know, super embarrassing. Right now, I'm just spraying it with a heat protector spray. This is from Got To Be. It's the blue one. I forget exactly what it's called, but it smells really good, so that's why I like it. <laughs> and then I use a teasing comb, and I curl my hair in layers. So I tease each layer just a little bit before I curl it, and then how I curl it is a little different because I don't curl the entire strand of hair. I use about one inch segments, and I curl it halfway up and then so I don't get creases, I do it in kind of like sections of the hair. I don't curl that last inch and a half of hair. And you'll see why when it's done. It looks kind of bizarre right now, but the finished product gives you a really edgy curl and it's not so pageant queen, if that makes sense. So I usually use my... Oh, that's me waving to buzz. I usually use my curling wand for this. But I figured I would use my regular curling iron because I figured that most people watching this probably have a normal curling iron. So I just wanted to show you that this look is obtainable with both a curling wand and a curling iron. So this is the second section of hair that I do. Spray it, brush it out, tease it, do the same thing all over my head. My hair is kind of like this weird ombre, purple, blue, pink-ish right now. <laughs> the blue was still in it when I added some pink to it, so some of it turned purple and I really kind of like it. It's like the new galaxy hair a little bit. It's fun. This is the Texture, che texture Tease Texturizing Spray by Garnier and I use this instead of a hairspray because it gives it like a ton of texture like the product says but it's kind of a cross between a dry shampoo and a hairspray so you get that volume from it and it doesn't leave your hair all crunchy like regular hairspray so I love that about it. Doing the third layer and again just teasing each piece and kind of half curling it. And then after each layer, I give it a quick spray and comb it out with my fingers. From start to finish, it only takes me about 15 minutes to curl my hair this way. It's pretty quick. And then I part my hair on the side, but if you part your hair in the center, this look would be great for that too. You don't have to part it on the side. That's just kind of how my hair is trained, so even if I try to part it in the center, it wants to fall to the side. And that's it, that's my hair. Pretty simple. Give it one final spray. You can never use enough hairspray, guys. And clearly I'm not going out in sweats, so <laughs> I'm gonna change really quickly. 
And there's Buzz just hanging out and he's gone. Here's my outfit guys, really simple, just a long black t-shirt, black leggings, and this amazing blanket scarf I got this year from Abercrombie. I'm obsessed with it. It's big and warm and fluffy and I love it. Just some brown boots. I wear a lot of black. I keep it simple. And there's the final product, hair and makeup. And Rex is just, do you see his head? This is Rex's head. He just comes and like sits with me everywhere I am in the house. He has to be right there. It's pretty adorable.